Is Jigen an old Suzuki member? Yes. Check my clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. All right, guys. I want to ask you guys a very popular question that's been going around the board to community, and that's if Jigen is actually an old Suzuki member. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you guys reasons why I think that Jigen is an old Suzuki member, and I'm going to give you popular reasons why Jigen is not an old Suzuki member. So, I do want you guys to formulate your own opinion. Don't let me sway your opinions at all. All right, now, the first bit of evidence of Jigen possibly being an old Suzuki member is obviously Sasuke's trip to the unknown place or the unknown location that Shikamaru and Naruto did send him to. Now, supposedly, this is going to be a different dimension i talked about this in my previous two videos sasuke found six different engravings and with those six different engravings they represented people supposedly in my opinion i think these are all old suzuki members that these engravings do represent we did not see two of them mailing because two of them were destroyed but the four that we did see was momoshiki kenshiki kage and also jigen now momoshiki kenshiki and kage are confirmed old suzuki members we've known this for a very long time the only person in question right now is Jigen because Jigen is the only one in question and we know that the other people are pretty much all old Suzuki members I can possibly draw a conclusion that Jigen is definitely an old Suzuki member now not only this in the last chapter as well Sasuke said he looks like an old Suzuki member now I do want to make this very very clear Sasuke did not say he is an old Suzuki member male because I know some people are going to probably try to nitpick that but it's pretty much implied that Sasuke thinks that Jigen is an old Suzuki member once he does actually transform once he does actually absorb the ten tails chakra for the people who want their memories to be rejogged there was a time where jigen actually absorbed chakra from the ten tails and once jigen absorbed chakra from the ten tails he took on an otsuzuki like state now in my opinion i think that this is jigen's final form this is also jigen's true form and because it's his true form he is an otsuzuki member when sasuke said that jigen looked like an otsuzuki member the word otsuzuki was in bold it's like the writers wanted us to know that hey this guy is actually an otsuzuki member so all things are pointing to jigen Jigen being an Otsuzuki member and not only that Jigen does Otsuzuki things and it's not just regular things that regular humans can do it's things that only Otsuzuki members are able to do for example like fly you can use time space ninjutsu without a running gun or a shouting gun almost just like how Kenshiki did when he did use time space ninjutsu to get to that dimension that Momoshiki was in and obviously he did not have a clear shouting gun Mangekyo shouting gun or running gun he can absorb chakra and of course some people are going to say well regular people can do this but think about it no regular person or no regular human has all these abilities combined of course a noki the fence sitter can fly obito can use time space ninjutsu with his kamui with the renegon you could absorb chakra but think about it jigen does not have a shinagon no renegon no nothing he's able to fly time space ninjutsu and absorb chakra those things are the characteristics literally of an otsuzuki member now not only that he had the ability to tame a ten tails this is something that we've seen kage otsuzuki do and this is something that requires a lot of energy a lot of power and a lot of chakra to pretty much control and manipulate the ten tails mainly because we know the ten tails is a pretty big thing it's pretty much stronger than all the other tail beasts that we do see in naruto now getting off of the examples in the other dimensions specifically around sasuke i do want to talk about how it makes sense for jigen to just be an otsuzuki member one thing that we do know for sure is that jigen is probably going to be the main foe to characters like naruto and sasuke and we know it is impossible for a human to actually be a foe to naruto and sasuke that is just not happening at all and one thing that would be super tricky is if the riders of boruto were to introduce a whole new race it is extremely hard to introduce a whole new race and actually explain it as you guys know as of right now we don't know everything about the otsuki clan we only know about a handful of their members and we don't know about any of their backstory except kage and that's from when she actually came to earth everything else is pretty much a huge mystery in terms of the otsuki clan so so it would be a very difficult thing for them to introduce a brand new race possibly from a brand new planet or a brand new dimension and then develop their backstory on top of having to develop and fulfill the otsuzuki backstory as well so jigen being an otsuzuki member would definitely make sense over him possibly being from another alien race now some more proof pointing to jigen not being a human is the fact that he has abilities that we've never really seen before one of the most fascinating abilities that we did see jigen do is that he quote unquote recreated reality this is around about chapter 19 i might be mistaken by that but delta was with jigen and delta destroyed a table 
out of nowhere within like a snap of a finger Jigen completely recreated that table and it wasn't just the table he recreated the cups he recreated the wine he recreated everything while the original table was still broken in the background things like this is definitely foreign to the human race and as you guys know everybody in the human race as of right now they get their abilities from the og kage otsuzuki because we know kage does not have this ability this most likely comes from another branch in the otsuzuki clan of course we know that Jigen is most likely connected to Kaguya, but it would make sense for Jigen to not have the exact replicated abilities of a character like Kaguya. Now, I do want to get into the reasons why Jigen is not an Otsuzuki member. Now, the first thing being is the fact that Jigen in his quote unquote final form looks a lot like a Jinchiriki. Now, we've seen two Jinchirikis before in Naruto Shippuden back in the prime. Only the 90s kids are going to remember this, but Madara and Obito were Jinchirikis of the Ten Tails. Now, supposedly, when Jigen does transform into this state he looks exactly like that now i'm not going to say he looks identical there are different features obviously because he's a different person but he definitely looks like those two and not only that it seems like he only takes that form when he does absorb chakra from the ten tails and of course we know if you absorb chakra from the ten tails you're probably going to look a little bit like a jinchuriki of the ten tails mainly because you do have the original ten tails chakra now something real fishy about jigen turning into that state and completely reverting back is the fact that he did not stay in that state and of course if he did not stay in that state we can probably assume that because he didn't absorb the whole ten tails he's not going to have that state as a permanent like how Madara and like how Obito had that state one can assume if he were to absorb the whole ten tails he would have stayed in that state and he would have not reverted back so for example hypothetically speaking if Sasuke were to absorb about a quarter of the ten tails chakra it's possible that he can look like this but then revert back to his regular self after that chakra wears out or after he maintains control of that ten tails chakra and and then converts it into his own chakra just like how presumably Jigen did to the ten tails chakra that he did absorb now other evidence point to how Jigen is not an Otsuzuki member is the fact that he has no clear Otsuzuki features one of the huge things about Jigen that does not match the other Otsuzuki members is the fact that he has black hair this is something that we know for certain or not necessarily for certain but we know that all Otsuzuki members that we have seen before had white hair so for Jigen to have a darker tone of hair is very very fishy for him actually being an old Suzuki member now another thing is the fact that he possibly does not have a Byakugan I do want to make this very clear and say possibly mainly because he could possibly also have a Byakugan as well but as of right now we've seen majority of the old Suzuki members have a white Byakugan one of the old Suzuki members that did not have a white Byakugan was final form Momoshiki it's very possible for G can have a red Byakugan and thus in the manga because it is only black and white and red is a darker color it would make sense for him to draw Jigen's eyes as black for example if Jigen's eyes were yellow they would have probably drawn Jigen's eyes as being gray or if Jigen's eyes were the regular Byakugan color they would have drawn Jigen's eyes as white but for this example since we don't know yet since we haven't seen Jigen on the colored cover of Boruto yet we can only assume that Jigen does not have a Byakugan and we know all the Otsutuka members that we did see thus far had a Byakugan or I should say all the pure members members of the Otsuzuki clan that we have seen had a Byakugan. Another thing that's very interesting in terms of Jigen is the fact that he has ulterior motives than all of the other Otsuzuki members out there. As of right now, we're not completely clear about the motives of Jigen, but Jigen is treating himself like a vessel. He told the Ten Tails that he would soon let the Ten Tails eat him, and we know for a fact that the other Otsuzuki members wouldn't do that. The other Otsuzuki members had a motive of gaining chakra. We know that Momoshiki came absorbing a whole bunch of chakra. We know that Kage came absorbing absorbing a whole bunch of chakra and Chiki and Urashiki were pretty much following the orders of Momoshiki so they were also trying to absorb chakra. So Naito was a different case he was actually trying to solve world problems but it seemed that Jigen has a completely different goal altogether and of course we don't know it yet so we can't necessarily make this a solid reason but as of right now his goals make it look like he's not completely an Otsuzuki member. As I said I do want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below I think this is a very interesting topic for a lot of you guys that are out there so overall I do want to know what you guys think is Jigen an Otsuzuki member or is Jigen not an Otsuzuki member do you guys think he's a regular person do you guys think he could possibly just be someone siphoning chakra from the ten tails and that makes him look like an Otsuzuki member do you guys think that he's an actual Jinchiriki of the ten tails let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but it's been your boy Barbie and we out it's a knife Shut my clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I
I bought pistols, beaming my body, clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick, you need a tissue, you drop a body, I just might bless you. I'm at your sexual, no high cholesterol. Where's any crib? Bitch, just get sexual.